Good morning. I welcome you to our Oblate Morning Prayer. My name is Mary O'Brien and I'm a member of the Oblate Lord Pilgrimage Team. As we prepare to gather together for our morning prayer today, let us take a moment first to quietly call to mind all those for whom we wish to pray today and all those who have asked us for prayers. Let us place all these into the hands of God and let us also place ourselves and all our own hopes and our needs. And so we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And our opening prayer. We pray, let us praise you, Lord, with voice and mind and deed. And since life itself is your gift, may all we have and are be yours this day. And for the scripture texts today, I've chosen the gospel reading, which is from Luke chapter 14, verses, verses 1 and verses 7 to 11. On one occasion, when Jesus was going to the house of a leader of the Pharisees to eat a meal on the Sabbath, they were watching him closely. When he noticed how the guests chose the places of honour, he told them a parable. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not sit down at the place of honour in case someone more distinguished than you has been invited by your host. And the host who invited both of you may come and say to you, give this person your place. And then, in disgrace, you would start to take the lowest place. So when you are invited, go and sit down at the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he may say to you, Friend, move up higher. Then you will be honoured in the presence of all who sit at the table with you. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. When I um, read that gospel through, it makes me think that we live in a world where positions of importance seem to be sought and cherished where the temptation to popularity seems to be the only value that matters. Some people seem to count success, personal success, by the numbers of followers they have for their blog, vlog or Instagram or similar. It's really all about an exterior projection of who we think we should be and doing what we believe will achieve that goal. This gospel parable reminds us that as followers of Jesus, we are called to look into the depths of our own souls and find for each of us our own true values of our Christian life. And we need to constantly seek God's help to free us of this need to make ourselves important in the eyes of others, to worry too much about what others think of us. It's how we are in God's eyes that really matters. And God sees us all as equals. He loves us all equally. And rather than seeking always to promote ourselves, we should use our gifts and our talents in the service of others. As Paul's letter to the Romans says, live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. 
I've been conscious in recent weeks of the change of the seasons. The front garden is covered in fallen leaves. The summer flowers are nearing their end. The year is beginning to draw in. The days are getting shorter. And I think for me, it's a time to reflect, to appreciate. Yesterday with a friend, I sat by the sea for a while and I noticed birds gathering and flying in groups, preparing, I'm sure, for migration to warmer places. And as I sat there, particularly as I looked at the birds, I remembered something I read only last week, Joyce Rupp's Autumn Prayer of Acceptance. And as a closing prayer this morning, I'd like to read you just parts of that. Autumn God, when I accept only the beautiful and reject the tattered, torn parts of who I am, when I treat things that are falling apart as my enemies, walk me among the dying leaves. Let them tell me about their power to re-energize the earth's soil by their composition and decay. When I refuse to wait with the mystery of the unknown and when I struggle to control, rather than to let life evolve, wrap me in the day of November. Encourage me to enter into stillness and silent mystery, to wait patiently for clarity and for wisdom. When I fight unwanted and unsought changes, and when I seek to keep things as just as they are, place me on the wings of birds flying south for another season. Gather their spirit of freedom into my heart. Let me be willing to leave my well-satisfied place of comfort for the discomfort of a long flight into the unknown. Thank you. God of transformation, for the lessons that the autumned earth teaches me. So thank you for joining me this morning and I hope you have a good day. May God bless us all and keep us safe this day. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>